Hello everyone, welcome back to another exciting video in my lesson learn series. So I was hanging around with my flying buddy at our local flying club and we were discussing what does it take to become a top RC pilot. Is it natural God given talent where you have great eye hand coordination with the controller in the plane and you never crash? Well, if you're those 5% or lucky 10%, a big congratulations to you. But on the other hand, if you like me or the other 90%, you should watch this video as I list all the skill set that we need to learn and practice to become a better RC pilot. Once again, if you enjoy the video, please help subscribe, like, and hit the bell so that you won't miss any future video release. And also love to hear your comment, whether you agree or disagree, it's okay. We all can learn and share within the RC community. Thank you for watching. Okay guys, here are the skill sets. Number one is mandatory but most underrated. Whether it's a foam plane, balsa plane, turbine plane, you need to get better and be skillful at building, fixing, maintaining your plane and keep up to date with all the new development. You need to be a student and learn from experienced RC folks of how they build, fix their plane. You can meet them at the local club, local hobby store, RC event, YouTube channel, the only way for you to get your plane up in the air more often is by mastering this handy skill. Okay, here is skill set number two. Learn to sense your surrounding flying environment. Great pilots sense their environment and adapt. Bad pilot blame the surrounding, blame the environment for the mishap. Check out this great pilot in the light blue shirt in the middle. Can't you see what I'm talking about? He sends and check out the left side of the sky even before his plane is flying down from the right side of the sky. Did you see that? Let me play slow and pause to show you again. Now it doesn't mean that you should go out tomorrow and fly your plane and instead looking at your plane you look elsewhere. That's a no-no. All I'm saying is that you need to be aware of this skill and slowly practice it. Skill set number three is you should expect the unexpected. By this I mean when you're flying your plane any malfunction can happen. Check out this great pilot dealt with a dead stick or engine power loss. He didn't panic, flap up and guy his plane safely to the runway with no power. So the last skill set is landing. You need to learn and practice to land your plane in all type of windy condition. You need to bring the plane down successfully so that you can fly another day. Now, I'm not telling you to go and fly and land in 30 mile gust wind, but you should be able to bring down your plane down in 10 to 15 mile windy condition. You can simulate this on flying simulator software. So, those are the skill set that we need to master in order to take the next step to become a great RC pilot. Cheers and happy flying!